Hey everybody, today's video is on short game power source. Gonna teach you a little bit about the physics of a golf swing and actually how that is the, what you'd like to sense to control your short game shots. So, real simple here. Um, in a short game shot is basically a shrunken full swing. We just don't take it back all the way behind us and, and wind our body up to the, to the full potential for maximum speed. In fact, short game is all about controlling the speed of the golf club to get various types of shots. And so the basics of that is understanding the extending quantity of angular momentum. And so in a full swing, when the club is back behind you and it comes around your body, once the momentum changes from the spin of the body, the club head naturally extends and it pulls your arms and the club forward, creating the, creating the, uh, the motion of the golf swing. So one of the things that we, we have here is the, as the club head gets farther from your center point of your swing, it goes faster by the, uh, by the laws of physics through the extension of angular momentum. So what we can do with our short game shots is we can actually control how, how fast that gets based on how far the club head is actually from the center line of your body. So when you want shots that, that we're gonna work in kind of pitch shots here, but when you want shots that don't quite have so much velocity to them, then your, the preference would be to get the club head to have a very wide reach from your, from your center point. So as it changes direction and goes there, it can't really gain too much speed. So here we go. So that's a very kind of wide pitch shot. So it looks like my arms and the golf club are essentially in all kind of one, one big long line here as I go through. But what happens is that the golf club just can't pick up as much speed because it's just, it's not, it's not really extending the radius of the swing. It's pretty much the same radius all the way through. Okay. But if I want to start to add a little bit more power source to get a little more spin and to be able to hit higher shots and different types of shots around the green that have, have more variety to them, then what I want to do is I want the club head to get in a little bit closer to my center. Now, of course, that means that you, as you turn back, your, your elbows and your wrists can bend a little bit, and now the club head gets a little bit closer to my body, and so now it has more extending. So as it extends, it picks up more speed. So without really trying any harder than the other shot, if I create a little bit, if I put a little bit more, uh, more hinge there and get the club head closer to my, to my center, then it expands with a lot more speed. And that's where players get in a lot of difficulty with short game, because most people try to think of short game as just simply the length of the swing, but it really is the, the amount of extension of the radius that you can actually create. Now, of course, yeah, when the club is up higher when I bring it in closer, but I actually gonna get more speed because as I transfer momentum from the spin of my body, it's going to expand faster, and so it's gonna accelerate more. And then vice versa, again, if I go wider with it, then it doesn't have, it doesn't have the capacity to create as much speed. So again, we're, what I don't wanna do in my short game shots is I don't wanna go back and try to use the handle or the lever to try to create the speed of the swing. That's very, very chaotic. If I learn how to let the physics of the extension of the swing work for me, then I can have a much more rhythmic and, and, and balanced type of motion that has a lot of smoothness. When you let the momentum of the swing work for you, it starts to give you the ability to have a lot of touch. All right, so in review here, if I wanna take some energy off the swing, I change the width of the arc. So if the width of the arc is longer and the club is farther from my center point, it won't gain as much speed. So it'll be a shot that looks more like this. But then if I wanna increase the speed of the actual swing, instead of thinking about just hitting it harder from there, I can let the club head get in closer to my center and then that naturally is gonna speed up the swing as it extends away from the arc or it extends away from the center line of my body. So when you, when you attach or when you uh, tackle power source more using the natural physics of the swing, it's much easier to be much more repeatable and get better results. All right, I hope you guys found that helpful and we'll see you all next time. Hit the flag on that one. <laughs> Supposed to put it in the hole though, right? <laughs>